What's going on, everyone? We're back here today playing yet another Kurez Field Spell variant. I plan on doing a couple of these videos exploring different variations on this list. Now that I'm done fully sort of showcasing the, like, main build of the deck, there are definitely some interesting sort of branch-off kind of strategies you can do with it. One of them is this Machina Machine sort of Kurez list that you can do, which obviously the synergy is the Gear Dragon. It's just a Reborn for... Fortress, that's crazy. Fortress, crazy card. Uh, Gear Frame's just a crazy card too, actually, but yeah. Uh, this is a build that Keegan sent me. This is not my build. I am just purely net decking here today. Too lazy to make my own original build. If I did, there would probably be a good few different kind of card choices in here. Keegan's a, just a different style of player than me, I think. Very, very aggro uh, as compared to me. My approach to the strategy is a lot different. But we're not here to complain about the differences in Keegan's deck building and playstyle. We're here to give it a test run, play it in a couple matches, and that's what we're going to do. So let's jump right into that. Okay, so here we got the first match. We're up against some guy with a Gelen Duo avatar. Neat. Uh, they're playing, it looks like Turbo, but they're actually playing like some crazy, uh, just some really out there shit. I think they were trying to summon uh dragon master knight or something like that actually uh i don't they didn't pull it off at any point unfortunately i regret to report but yeah so as you can see at this point i think it's some typical dragon turbo stuff well i know it's not because i saw the poly though but i don't really know what it is at this point um they get to resolve a jew for two which is nice I figure I'm not going to get better value out of this heavy, so I just use it. As you can see, we actually drew the one quick draw and got the Drill Warrior in rotation, which is... Didn't feel great, honestly, in this situation. Felt just a little too slow. I just would rather would have had, like, a machine heavy hand that I could just kill this guy with, but... We have the outs for the Messenger of Peace, and we're just going to attack. Play around Gores. And tag out the drill again. They use the king of the swamp. They get back the messenger of peace. And then I judgment it. And then they scoop. Maybe they should have stormed me before that. But I don't know. That was just... This whole match felt kind of easy. Because my opponent's just playing some whack shit. So what can you do? Here's where I see the black luster soldier. And I piece it together. They're trying to summon... Uh, Dragon Master Knight for some reason. I don't know. It seems really bad, but... It is what it is. So, they're just gonna set. And as you can see, this is... This is just not going well for them. Because, uh... Oh, it's Dragon's Mirror. Why are they playing Polly? If the plan is Dragon's Mirror. Well, hmm... I don't know, but they just scoop because they can't out the Vanity's Fiend or anything, so. Yep. That was, a, that was a game for sure. The second match, this match was painful if I remember correctly, I think. I made some, like, horrible punt in game three or something that cost it for me, so. First of all, they're playing an illegal card in their deck, but I just kind of decided to let it go for the sake of the video because I was... <laughs> Too lazy to start a new match, so, yeah. Here we just go for game. This was probably... This kind of showcased something cool about the deck. Uh, just being able to, like, randomly get game... The power of the discard trap to clear the monster and have all this damage on board. That was pretty neat. I think I played that one well. Uh, we get dust shoot. Did they take the dandy? They probably shouldn't have. They should have taken peacekeeper, but... We dust shoot... Here they make a weird play. I think they gold sark for future fusion. And it's like, why didn't you just gold sark for Stratos with this D draw in hand? But whatever. We're both just passing back and forth for a bajillion turns. The ab zero comes down. I decide to wing blast it so I can pop my own guys and actually get something going here. Here I maybe played too passively. I don't know. It did turn out to be mirror though. Yeah, I don't know. It's like I could have... I kind of wanted to wait till I got the second gear frame off is the thing. So they mirror... 
I'm going to take 25. Could have gone in for more damage, but I decided to wait till next turn. Unfortunately, the storm here really messes me up. And yeah, they're going to Caius, my guy. This doesn't look so bad because I'm able to just rip the data out of their hand. And then I have this for the stop all the miracles. But I think they, they like summon Vanity's Fiend or something. Yeah, and I don't have an out. This deck doesn't play Mirror or Brain Control. So it's like very short on outs to Vanity's Fiend. And yeah, here I need to like draw a gear frame precisely. But I do not. I think I just draw another gear town or something, so. Alright, this is the game where I make the horrible throwy play, I think. Yeah. This turn I like wing blast something that I shouldn't have and it costs me. I totally like my brain stalls out here and I do this, and then they just summon a level eight, so that was embarrassing and stupid. That probably lost me the game. I mean maybe I would have lost anyway. Their hand's pretty good and like let's be honest, and my hand was pretty bad, so. But, still no excuse in it. Again, there's just not a lot of outs to Vanity's Fiend. I brought in the Brain Con from the side deck, but we're too low on life now. Uh, so, a couple of these situations, I'd really like to have Mirror Force in the, in the deck anywhere. Actually, I don't think that's in the main or the side. But Anyway, on to match number three. We're up against... Oh yeah, this is the Black Salvo player. <laughs> Mm. I think this deck, I've always thought this deck is really cool. It just sucks that it's, you know, not good. Um, but, yeah. Here, we're just playing it safe, going over the Sangan. Maybe I could have dropped. I could have played it more aggra aggressive here, I think. Possibly. Because I have the road set. And I think the road's pretty good in one of these more aggro playstyle type of builds. Let's see, just play into Torrential Mirror. So we're going to get in. I think he just takes it. He's got the fader, though. Uh, I probably shouldn't have set my whole hand. Because that turns off my Phoenix Wing. And I get kind of lucky that he sequences things the way he does. And he plays this turn the way he does. Because if he would just, like, done it a little more, like, aggressive and dumb, then he would have actually been able to, like, break my whole board because I didn't have a card in hand for Phoenix Wing. So, yeah. I can just take the damage here. Go for Titanial. He Torrentials. Then I call back and have limiter removal for game. So, yeah. That one is going to be mine. And then game number two. Our hand's all right here, but we get dust shooted because, of course. Uh, we got a couple plays, though. We can just, like, flood the field with gear dragons. So that's what we decide to do. Pulling the rug and judgment don't interact with us at all, actually. Funny enough. So he's going to go Allure. Just summon Cyber Valley. I try to out it. He judgments here, which is like totally fine. It's almost as much damage as I would have done even if I had outed it. So it might have been a mistake for him to judgment that. He could have just summoned Valley again, and there's nothing I could have done. But yeah, we're going in. He's got the book. Maybe he shouldn't be using those books like that, but the crow for the Salvo Black Rose just wins me the game immediately, so... Yeah. That's match number three. Um, overall, I think... This deck's interesting. It's just not really my style, I think. It really kind of conflicts with the way I'm trying to play uh, the game, and I think that caused me to make a lot of mistakes uh, in, these, in these matches, as you sort of saw. But even... Even so, there may be a few minor changes I would make. However, pretty cool build. Very cool deck by Keegan here. I definitely enjoyed it. I definitely had fun. I hope you guys thought the matches were enjoyable. And I think that's just going to be a wrap for now. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone next time. Peace out.